the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 on forever is what's called a repeating square root. How do we calculate the value of something like this? I mean, does it even have a value? Is it sensible to say that? Turns out there is a standard way of dealing with expressions of this type. Assume the expression has some value x. Now, it could be that x equals infinity, it could be any real number, we don't know yet. First, we square both sides. Notice that the left-hand side is all under one square root. And so when squared, we just end up with 2 plus the square root of 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 2, and so on. The right-hand side is simply x squared. Notice that the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2, etc. is exactly what we started with, and so this left-hand side is 2 plus x. Rearranging this, we get a quadratic equation, x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. And now we can solve by using the quadratic formula. In this case, a equals 1, b equals minus 1, and c is minus 2. And so x equals 1, plus or minus the square root of 1 squared, minus 4 times 1 times minus 2, all over 2. This simplifies to 1 plus or minus 3 over 2, and so x equals 2 or minus 1. Hold on. Two answers for x? Surely we defined x already, it can only have one answer. It turns out this is just an artifact from the way that we solve quadratic equations, and we can ignore this answer as being unphysical. We know the answer must be positive because we were taking the positive square roots of positive numbers. And so the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 plus the square root of 2 equals 2. Maybe this isn't as surprising as you thought. You can do this with numbers other than 2. If you look at the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1 plus the square root of 1, what's the answer in this case? And I'll give you a hint, it's not 1. Thanks for watching and stay subscribed for more.